My name is Saborn Va. I'm the assistant scoutmaster for Troop 1262. I was born in Cambodia in the late 1970s, during a time when the Khmer Rouge was ruling the country. So the Khmer Rouge is a communist regime. So they took over the country around 1975, I think. Killed tons of people. I think they killed about a quarter of the population. When the Vietnamese invaded our little town, the Khmer Rouge, the communist regime, and the, and the Vietnamese were fighting against each other. And so my mom, you know, grabbed me and just took off running. You know, people were shooting at us, but she can hear the bullets flying by her ears. You know, here's my mom pregnant with my sister. Saw this ditch and threw me into the ditch. And as the bullets was flying by, you know, she decided, you know what, she's going to cover me in case I get hit with the bombs or the bullets. And so she laid there with her pregnant belly on top of me until the, until the shooting started dying down. And when it did, got back up again and started running again, crossed the river, um, ended, up, ended up in Thailand. And from Thailand, we went to another refugee camp in the Philippines, stayed there for another year or year and a half, and from the Philippines, came to America. Scouting played a huge role in my life when I was younger. And it just played an enormous role. I mean, if you can imagine, you know, refugees, I mean, I, I grew up in a refugee community, grew up in a very poor community, pretty much the ghetto. You know, and just like with any projects, you know, there's a lot of crimes, there's a lot of uh, drugs, there's a lot of just chaos, really. Um, I was able to avoid all that stuff because of scouts. So scouting had a huge impact on me because it gave me an opportunity to do something besides hanging out and getting into trouble, right? Besides staying home and playing video games. <laughs> About eight years ago, two local leaders were visiting a, a number of these refugees, a number of these kids in the poorer communities, and finding that they're getting into a lot of trouble, you know, visiting them in jail. And so uh, one of them said to the other, says, you know what, we, we need to start scouting here in Salt Lake City. And so this little troop that they started just to help kids get out of trouble has now turned into this, you know, about a hundred kids. So because of that, uh, the uh, leaders here in Salt Lake City uh, the governor and uh, some of the folks who works with refugees says, why don't you start off other troops in the city? And now a year later, they have about 10 troops. It's about 250 boys from all over the world uh, as refugees. And it is growing really fast. I mean, by the end of this year, we'll probably have 500 kids. By next year, I don't know, we'll probably double that number again. Recruiting for us has been fairly easy in the refugee community. You'll find that in most of these poor communities and most of these like minority communities, um, everybody knows everybody. And so when one kid gets involved, uh, almost always the rest of the community gets, gets involved. The boys are the ones that's actually going out and saying, hey guys, look at what I'm doing. You know, come, come, come and hang out with us. We would love to have you.